What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the love that you've been showing on my channel even though I have not been uploading at all. I am so sorry for that but um, I am so grateful for all the love and support that I've been getting. We are so 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 close to 1000 subscribers and we also recently hit 10k views on one of the videos which was my Patna to Bangalore vlog um, which I'm gonna be linking here or here wherever the i button is and also in the description box right down below if you haven't watched it. That time of the year again when uh, um, board exams are finally done and everyone is just waiting to get into their dream universities, dream colleges to pursue their preferred course. Um, I decided to make a video on my college and my course to let you all know because I have been getting a lot of messages from my uh, juniors who are with me in school and also from other people um, about MCC in particular and my course and also a few other colleges in Bangalore so if you have any query about any other colleges or universities in Bangalore do let me know in the comments down below and I will try my best to uh, reach out to a few of my other friends who are in that particular college and uh, I'll try to get back to you with a positive response hopefully so i've listed out what i want to talk about uh, in particular in this video so i'm going to be talking about my course what are the different subjects papers um, the faculty about the college my journey the admission procedure in mcc and uh, lastly bangalore as a city so mass communication is known as communication studies in uh, mount camel it is one of the leading courses in mcc and uh, the programs that they offer are uh, number one, BA Honours in Communication and Media and number two, it's a dual discipline program which is BA in Psychology and Communicative English. So there is not much difference between Communication Studies and Communicative English. Communicative English just has a lot more of uh, writing skills and uh, Communication Studies also includes the print and media and journalism, all of those papers which I'm going to talk about in detail after a few minutes. <laughs> so I am doing uh, BA Honours in uh, Communication and Media. So it's a four year course. My first year is done. I finished my second semester about three weeks ago. So uh, this course uh, will cover over 32 papers in uh, three years. And uh, if you are planning to the honors degree as well so that's like a plus one i would 100 percent recommend you all to do the four-year course the major papers in the first semester were functional writing narrative techniques and creative writing so um creative writing was really fun because we had to like write poems and essays you just had to take out your creative side basically and uh, it just gave a lot of freedom to us to express ourselves through pen and paper so that was something that was actually quite fun but back in first semester whenever I used to get an assignment I used to cry all day long because I could not get this to work because um, well it's not that anyways <laughs> anyways uh, narrative techniques again is a paper that was so interesting so interesting that HOD used to teach me that and um, it was just it, it was genuinely a great paper uh, in narrative techniques we had to go through all the different eras of literature and uh, me being a history student for uh, a really long time um, history and literature student for a really long time found it really interesting because it was a mix of history and literature and uh, we had to go in quite a lot of depth with each and every era that is greek classical modern victorian everything and it was just very very interesting one thing that I would recommend is that if you don't do not read or write, please start doing it because it's not just for MCC but for this course, for mass communication, you have to be that person who likes to uh, read and write a little bit. Just make sure that you have a habit of reading and uh, writing. Just write down your thoughts, maybe start journaling because that was something that I did not do. I still don't read. I'm just not that person who likes to read and I have faced a lot of issues because of this. So uh, if you like to read novels, magazines, or if you're a person who uh, likes poetry, this course is definitely for you because you will get so many assignments, so many projects to do that will bring out your creative side and you can definitely use all your imaginations and all your thoughts 
into those assignments and uh, you will succeed you will definitely succeed even if you don't read at least try to go through newspapers because that is going to help you in second semester and also in third year because of the journalist uh, journalism papers you will also get to know about the what's going on in the world so it's like a one on one offer you will also be able to write and you will get the habit of reading and also have the knowledge of what's going on in the world so what's wrong with that but uh, i'm sitting here like a nice um, academic guru and uh, trying to tell you all all of these uh, tips and tricks i don't do all this mere se nahi hota i don't read but uh, when they're in that position So that's why i'm going to recommend you all to read before you take up this paper take up this course in functional writing we were taught about the major symbols punctuation in depth because that is what is going to help you to write in the future and uh, if you are going to go into print media or into like newspapers and all that go, that paper is going to help you a lot and uh, well yeah that's about it uh, in first sem second semester had papers like introduction to journalistic skills page design um theater and communication and uh, readings and approaches again journalistic skills was an just an introduction to what journalism is we were taught about the various types of newspapers and the various types of news that go into the newspaper and all in all it was just so much fun i personally it was my favorite subject and the assignments that we used to get uh, in this paper were really interesting and it was actually something really helpful again readings and approaches was one of the really interesting subjects when you hear the word mass communication what we feel is like newspaper videos all of that but it's not just that in readings and approaches we covered literature we covered sociology psychology and all in all it was all interconnected somehow it was all interconnected in in readings and approaches you will get to read the classics lewis carroll emily bronte william shakespeare then we had page design and in page design we were introduced to adobe so we had to work on photoshop and in design so in theater and communication we were taught about the different theaters and uh, we also had a theater production so when i talk about theater it was not us acting it was all about producing a particular play there are no textbooks no ebooks in this course it's all assignment based i personally think that it's really great because we do not have all of those um exam ka pressure and but yeah the assignments are too much too much when you will do a particular assignment and when you will see that okay this is how i have done it and this was the procedure this was the process when you will come up with new ideas you will put that into your particular work you will feel so proud yeah all in all it's a wonderful course and i would definitely recommend you all to go for this because it definitely has a lot of avenues in the future and uh, it's going to open up a lot of different career options for you it can get really rigorous it can get you to cry all day but in the end it's all just worth it sab ho jayega the faculty is really good the teachers can get really serious when it comes to work i mean that's how it should be it can get a little pressurizing sometimes all of the teachers are really sweet they will be there for you whenever you need them it's not just for the papers or for the assignments but overall if you just have to go and talk to them they will be there for you and everybody has a different style of teaching everybody is a different person but uh, what i felt is they are really cool now about the college so mount carmel college comes under the bangalore university and it is one of the top colleges in bangalore it's an all girls college the campus life is quite fun i mean ev every day you would see something or the other happening in the college there are a lot of fests the relationship with other colleges like christ university or jain is really really strong and you would see people coming from jain or christ all the time in mcc and people from mcc going to these colleges all the time so yeah campus life is good uh, for communication study students it is uh, uh well we do not get a lot of time for all of these activities but uh, the department itself organizes so many stuff so many guest lectures so many fun activities so many fests like there is um our very own uh fest which is known as the comi live the campus is actually really pretty it's all red 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 
like terracotta red so i really like that and uh, okay admission procedure um so for uh, communication studies uh, you don't really have a lot of stuff you have an entrance exam and then you have an interview so again it's all writing wala cheez it's all subjective it's not objective at all they will see how you write how your english is and uh, um what's how creative you are that's how the entrance test is it's not very difficult but you just have to be very genuine interview again is pretty simple and uh, all of the teachers all of the professors would be there in the interview and they will ask you basic questions nothing uh, you know communication related nothing like that they will ask you basic questions about you why you want this course and if you clear all of these two things then you are done okay i'm going to talk about my journey now oh my god this is a difficult part because it's been ups and downs ups and downs ups and downs all the time hee ha <laughs> okay uh my journey in mount carmel well where do i start for the first few weeks were I mean not weeks the first few months were all about me getting super lonely in bangalore and me just wanting to come back home because homesickness was definitely something that i was going through a lot i used to call up my mom and be like humko ghar bula bhai humse nahi hoga yahan pe yeah, first semester for me was it first semester for me was all fun uh the assignments were pretty easy second semester was very rigorous i'll be very honest it was very rigorous because we had to do a lot for like theater production or in introduction to journalistic skills we had to make a newsletter so the class was divided into two and then uh, we had to present two newsletters to our professor my journey so far in mount carmel has been okay but i'm hoping for a better college life in the near future and Yeah. Lastly, what I wanted to talk about is Bangalore as a city. So, um, Bangalore as a city, I think most of the students love. I personally really like how safe Bangalore is, and uh, for students, for girls, it's quite good. But it's so expensive. Oh my god! I mean, if you if you want to have like a good college life with you know going out, chilling with your friends, and going to different cafes, all that. तब तो हो गया गया सारा पैसा बिकॉज इफ इफ यू नॉट डूइंग दैट देन यू डोंट हैव अ लाइफ बैंगलोर इज अज सिटी एंड कम्यूट करने में गेटिंग कैब्स गोइंग टू गोइंग फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस टू दैट प्लेस विल कॉस्ट यू लाइक अच्छे से बिल्कुल इफ यू हैव नाइस कंपनी देन यू विल डेफिनेटली सर्वाइव एंड ऑल्सो एट द एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट ईयर यू विल हैव टू डू एन इंटर्नशिप um in print media so i am currently doing my internship from hindustan times i am in the print section so you yeah, are come to bangalore come to mcc come to communication studies it's going to be nice i'll be your senior <laughs> if you have any other query about any other college or any other course for that matter do let me know in the comments down below and i will try to answer them as soon as possible i know i'm super late for this video admissions are i think almost done i really hope you all enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up i mean i really hope you all found it helpful in some way or the other share this video with your friends and family i will see you guys in my next one and till then take care and